Mr. Gorbachev teared down this wall. As soon as they heard the news, thousands began to make their way to the crossing points. Within hours of East Germany's decision Most to let its people go it. by opening the border to the west, the city erupted. On the 9th of November, 1989, the Berlin Wall fell. But why did it exactly happen? Why did the Berlin Wall fall? That's what you're going to find out today. Welcome back regular viewers and if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Stefan, I'm a history teacher from the Netherlands and I'm hustling history for you. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Now, I sometimes hustle history on location, like right now. Well, actually not quite. Funny enough, I'm very close to my home here on Berlin Square in Utrecht, the Netherlands, where they threw up a replica of the Berlin Wall to commemorate the events that unfolded 30 years ago. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961. From the end of the Second World War, Germany had been divided between East Germany, the German Democratic Republic, and West Germany, the Federal Republic of Germany. The East was supported by the Soviet Union and the West by the United States. You see? Guck mal! We are democratic! It's in the name of the country! Really? Like as democratic as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, right. And the same happened to the capital of Germany, Berlin, which was located in the Eastern Zone. There was now a West Berlin and an East Berlin. The border between West and East Germany was closed. However, the border between West and East Berlin was not. So many people wanted to go from east to west, Berlin was their gateway. Between 1949 and 1961, an estimated 3 million people fled from east to west. These were mostly high educated young people. According to the East German communist authorities, this had to end. And that happened on the night of 13th of August 1961. Then, East German soldiers blocked the road between East and West Berlin. Barbed wire was laid on the 43 kilometer long border and nobody was allowed to cross any longer. Entschuldigung, I'm sorry, I need to go to work in the West. Can I pass? Nein. But I need to go to work. Nein. But... Nein. No work today. In the years after 1961, more obstructions were created. In 1965, they started to build the concrete wall, which was completed in 1980. When you were trying to flee from east to west, you ran the risk of being fired upon directly. Around 100 people were killed while they were trying to flee from east to west. From 1980 onwards, more and more people spoke against the Berlin Wall. In 1987, a concert was held near the wall at the western side. And Ronald Reagan, he visited the Berlin Wall and he spoke the following famous words. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. In June 1989, the Hungarians decided to cut the Iron Curtain. From this point onwards, the border between Hungary and Austria was now open. As a result of this, many Germans went on holiday to Hungary, only to flee to Western Austria. Oi, where do you go? Off holiday to Hungary. Good. Okay, see you later. Or not. Policies of East German authorities to end this led to massive protests. So therefore, the German Democratic Republic decided to relax its border regulations. Ian Kershaw wrote the following about this. Between 3 and 5 November, more than 10,000 citizens crossed the Czech border en route into West Germany. With this effective permission to depart for the West showing only a passport, the Berlin Wall had actually become pointless. However, 
leaving the GDR still meant completing cumbersome formalities to explain the reason for any journey. In any case, the wall still stood, though not for much longer. On the evening of the 9th of November 1989, the East German authorities held a press conference, which was quite unique, in which they announced the new border regulations. Spokesman of the German Communist Party, his name was Günther Schabowski, spoke about the new regulations and was then asked by a journalist when these new regulations will be implemented. And he said the following. Das tritt nach meiner Kenntnis ist das sofort. Thousands of East Berliners, they went to the wall. They couldn't believe it. And when they arrived there, they encountered the border guards who were not informed by any new regulations from high command. But yeah, what would these border guards do? Fire upon the masses and causing counts of casualties? And it was then, by midnight, that an officer of the border decided to open the crossing. And he also informed his comrades at the other crossings, and they did the same. And thus, the Berlin Wall had fallen. My holiday is over. I go back to work. In the west. Yeah, yeah. You can pass. Oof. That was a very long holiday. Mein God. The accidental opening of the Berlin Wall was literally the main breakthrough in the miraculous year 1989. With the wall down, relations between East and West Germany were certain to be transformed. How far and how fast, nobody could tell. But there was no way things could stay the way they had been before. Germany, East and West will never be the same again. The fall of the Berlin Wall meant the fall of East Germany. The East and the West were reunited the following year. It meant the fall of the Eastern Bloc eventually the fall of the Soviet Union. And thus, the Cold War had come to an end. A big shout out to my patrons. You see their names written on the wall. It's amazing. And a special thanks to the president, Kuhn Castleman and Henry Clarkson. Now, if you want to support me so I can make an actual trip to the remnants of the Berlin Wall, please go to my Patreon page. A couple of years back, I went to the Berlin Wall and I made a video about the brief history of its existence. If you want to check that video out, you can click right here. If you want to know more about the territorial evolution of Germany, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.